Hey, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ford and back. I'm on my EUC to go and uh, have a little play on the street. Somebody wanted to see a video, just my thoughts on what I liked better on the street, the Lynx or the V14. Well, not so much better, but you know, at least gather my thoughts on both wheels and how I find them on the streets. House car, no tax. I've been up all night. I'm just getting paid. So I'm heading out today just to have a roll on the links on the street. And then when I get back, I'll go out on the V14 and have a bit of a spin on that on the street. And we can look at how I find both wheels on the street. And maybe that can help you if you're deciding which wheel you want for the street. Both are really good. Both are gonna do the job that you need. But I guess they've got different characteristics, different things that I can maybe help you understand and I'm still trying to understand them I'm still pretty new with these wheels and they both feel really really good so come with me anyway we'll have a bit of a flick and I've gathered a few thoughts together and I'll throw them down on this video and see if they help you out hopefully you can um, gather something from this video anyway off we go You know, I guess for me, both these wheels are really versatile in the fact that you can do a bit of a uh, bit of everything with them. They are Swiss Army knives. More and more wheels are now. You've got a really good set of suspension on board, good torquey motor, um, battery to spare, and you know they're small and light enough. What is a street wheel? What makes a street rider? What is a street? You know, I guess these all matter because you've got a whole bunch of different types of roads and and pavements different ways that you can hit them and that all makes a difference I guess of what you're, you're looking for so not everything's gonna hit all the marks and you might be looking for something in a totally different road you might have dirt roads you might have this sort of stuff here it's really horrible bumpy crap and that's gonna make a difference about which wheel you'll find does the job for something like this a really rough road a lot of potholes and unexpected stuff first off you do want that suspension and you know, you probably do want a larger tyre because it's just going to help you get over those bumps a little easier. And I mean, for me, I think this is what's going to make the difference about which street tyre for you. There's a whole bunch of factors that rule out either wheel. If you're after range, you know, the V14 just might not cut it. Um, and if you're after something that's going to roll in the rain, the Lynx might not cut it. So, you know, each have their pros and cons. I'll go through them. I'll get some um, zipping on into the city. And we'll go through that list and maybe you can add to some more in the comments. This wheels get moving really well. I think now that I've turned the acceleration assist onto the V14, it actually feels a little bit more zippy off the mark. And it is a little bit smaller, so I guess it just, you notice those movements a little bit more, a little bit faster. I've softened the pedals on the Lynx, and I don't think I like it. I've gone to just below the medium down to a soft, and it's not. I'm not liking it. It feels a little stiffer than the V14. Slightly different in the way that the softness is applied, I guess. I think I like the in-motion feel with the softness slightly better. Or I liked this with hard pedals. I'm not sure. I've hit the street now with a few different wheels and this same run especially. I commuted for over a year on the V11, which is an 18 inch tire. And then I went up to the V13, which is a 22 inch tire. And then I've gone for the Lynx, which is 20 inch and the V14, which is a 16 inch. They all do the job well. I would not be sad if I had any of those wheels to do the job. I love any AUC and all of them I've loved. But I do think that, that they do things slightly better. You know, the V11, I didn't really know what I was doing. And it's such a great wheel for that, to be able to just get on, push, roll. You've got a decent suspension. It's an 18-inch tyre. 
ate up everything. I crashed a few times, the wheel took it, and I learned a lot from that wheel. And then I jumped into the V13, which was a bit of a, a leap into a massively different EUC. It's just such a solid wheel. It became so solid that I really forgot to learn to ride. You know, you just go over everything and you don't worry about your technique. You don't worry about what you're hitting because it's just going to go over it. And then you buy a 16 inch wheel and you quickly realize that 16 inches is going to get caught up on stuff. It's going to get hung up. You need a bit more technical ability. You can't be lazy. You can't just expect a wheel to push over everything. Uh, and that's, I guess, the, the thing that you might start to consider if you're looking at street wheel. Having a slightly bigger tire is just going to give you a little bit more stability, but also a little more ability to get over things and, and hit those bumps and potholes and rocks and things that you just didn't expect or didn't see coming. And the streets where it's going to hurt a lot if you come off. So that stability and, and being able to trust the wheel to get some of those mistakes. I haven't found that V14 unstable but it's definitely a lot more aerobic you know you're agile you, you need to be using a lot more muscle to control it and and keep it in line because it wants to every bit of movement you make if you just move your foot or move your knees just a little bit the wheel starts tracking and, and, and off it goes it wants to have fun and be sprightly and that might take a little bit more work if you're commuting and coming home and you just want to kick back or you don't want to put the effort in. These bigger wheels are a little easier to just chill back and let the wheel do the work, you know. But I was considering too, you've got different ways that you're going to hit the street. Are you just commuting and you're a little bit, you know, tired and sleepy and taking it relaxed? Or are you out on a group ride and your vibe's right up and you're pumped and you'll be, you know, carving everywhere? And it depends on, on that as opposed to how you feel and what you want to do with your wheel. If, if you're in a bit of a relaxed state, you just need something to travel slowly, comfortably. But if you want to carve it up, you need a good tire profile. You need it lightweight, fun, flicky, talky, and you can match your spirits, I guess, by the wheel. Both of these wheels will do what you need in those departments. They're both light and fun enough to flick around. Yeah, both fast enough to really give you that, that fun and good suspension to be able to jump and do some tricks and Keep it versatile. They managed to get the weight so even on these two wheels. They're about the 40 kilo mark for both. So, you know, the size factor, you don't really notice that there's a difference. Only in the way that it sits on machines, which is something that I find comfortable. I'm used to the, t the taller wheels and being able to have some control up the top of the machine. And the V14 sits just a little bit lower, so I'm taking it just a little bit longer to get used to that and find my comfort zone. Both the wheels are really comfortable in this urban environment, in this slow speed stuff. I can really just hold on to the hold on to the wheel and, and you know basically come to a standstill and just stand upright waiting for people but I can also just step off the wheel easy enough and use the trolley handle if I need so yeah I've got to say if I'm looking at these two wheels in the street I first got to at least cover the fact I don't have a street tire on and a street tire is going to make a massive difference to how your wheel feels, but also what you want to do. If you're just a dedicated street rider, getting on you know, one of the nicer tires with a nice round profile is going to be much, much easier to, to flick around and give you the range. You'll get a little bit more. These knobby tires, if you're after something a little bit more versatile, you know, you might hit the sandy pathways or sometimes be stuck in some muddy conditions or have to take it off road slightly. That's where these come in. I find these knobby tires not a problem at all on the, on the street. I mean, I can flick this wheel so much. It's got a nice round profile, nothing square. I think the V14 feels a little more squared off if you're looking at the tires that come straight with them. So that's a Kenda tire I've got on the Lynx. And I'll just have to double check the tire. I'll put it up here, I can't remember the name, it's a new tire that 
the V14's got. But I also really enjoy that. I've taken them both off-road slightly and still gives me a bit of grip into the you know loose stuff. But I can also make my turns nice and easy. My tyre profile is going to be a massive part of what makes your day nice rolling on the street or you know if it's a bit of hard work or you you know you're not really flicking things around as well as you wanted to. And I think when you're looking at this generation of wheel they're really all good and, and I think you can't go wrong picking look any of the wheels that are available at the market. If I was really just going to pick one characteristic that I like on on the street or the road it's probably you know stability for me so a larger tire helps you know helps me with just those unexpected things that pop up on the street as I was saying that I talked really slowly because I was thinking no actually I want to be able to jump and hop down some stairs so you know the street is for a different vibe depending on what you're feeling like when I hit the streets, I don't just go to ride the pavement. More and more as I've gotten better and the EUCs get better, I look for things to jump off for, walls to ride up, stairs to jump down. You know, it, it is a lot more fun to be doing all of that. And both these wheels will do it. But I have caught myself up a few more times on that smaller diameter, just getting um, caught into things or unexpectedly hitting a pothole and it it does bite in a little bit more, but the suspension eats it up. So you're still safe, but you notice that smaller tire sometimes. The pedals, uh, you know, you could do with a little bit more grip on them, but I've got some good tire, good, good shoes with these CRX, and mostly I lock myself in with the pads. It's just how I roll. So I give myself less chance to slip off the pedals. But um, yeah, they're fine on the street. I mean, sometimes you do need to make those tight little turns and maneuvers, uh, more so I think on the street when unexpected things happen. With the links being so light, it just comes with you. If you need to swerve to move out of the way of a person that just pops up or steps out, the wheel's straight away there with you, it's coming. It's not like a big hefty weight on the V13, you try to jump out of the way and the wheel's still over there and you've got to try to drag it with you. V14 is so twitchy and flickable. Even if you start to think about moving, the V14's already come with you. So that's where I think the V14 takes a little bit more work to just ride it. It's good work, it's great fun work, but you just might need to know that if you're after that smooth, comfortable roll, yeah, um, you know, this is probably, the Lynx is probably the one with that bigger tire. Comfort, you know, with these wheels, suspension wise, the comfort with both these wheels is great. It's fantastic. And I can kind of dial in a similar feel. Um, if I've really, at the moment on the V14, I've really loosened everything off and it gives me a very similar feel to the suspension on this Lynx that I'm on. Both of them are a little bit bouncy and, you know, nothing's been fully dialed in, but I'm just taking them to one extreme to the other and I can that way find my feet with how they feel and start to know what I like. Do find the V14 a lot easier to adjust. So if you are switching it up from going, you know, on a long commute roll or you're out in the street pushing speeds, you can then just easily hit those notches and dial the suspension in to hit a few jumps or on the fly, just make it a different wheel. The Lynx, you do need a little bit more work to do that, but the option's there. And so far I haven't adjusted mine and I don't want to on the Lynx, you know, I've, I'm really happy. Both of these suspension upgrades are huge compared to what I've been rolling on. So I think part of being able to roll on the street for me sometimes is that uh, ability to adjust things on the fly, like the suspension. Uh, with the app, I'm a big fan of the InMotion app. Well, I'm not a fan, but I definitely am after using the Leaperkim app. Here's a bit of a pro and a con, I think, because, you know, I much prefer to be doing all of my adjustments on the app. So the V14's got a really great app and I can adjust things easily and it works. I'm quite impressed, actually, after using the Leaperkim app, which doesn't 
work so great. I mean, it does, but the features, it's just very feature poor. And the way of thinking is you do a lot more of your settings on the links, on the fly, on the screen, which is great. If you're out, you can customize it really quick and easy. But the menu is a bit of a uh, coded thing, you know, like it's really hard to figure out what you're looking at until you know their language. So just the layout and usability isn't as friendly as the V14 app. But if you didn't have your phone, the V14 doesn't have a touchscreen or a way to adjust things on the fly. So I guess you've got the ability to do that on the Lynx without your phone, but you don't have that ability with the V14. Which one am I picking just for the streets at the moment? I am switching it up. I'm using both wheels for the street now. The V14 is really easy to commute with, really easy to throw in the back of the car. Just have fun when I'm you know, out with the kids at their school lessons and different things. I can just dick off on my wheel and go and have some fun. That's a really nice one. So it fits in the car a little bit better, uh, the size wise, and that matters. So I'm taking the V14 a lot more for those little quick sprints and the little bit of fun just around the streets. And I guess I'm taking the Lynx when I need that range. I'm finding them both so comfortable on the street that, you know, it doesn't really matter which one I'm on. I'm still having fun and I'm still really stoked that I've got these wheels. But I'm really stoked too to be able to have one that I'm going to dedicate more to the trails, which is the V14. And, you know, that's kind of where I think that wheel is going to be best suited but man it would absolutely handle as your street or commuter wheel range is the only factor there and you've got the chargers to take with you and give it a quick fast charge up at work so you know absolutely usable as a commuter much much better than the v11 that i started my whole wheel thing on and that got me i've done over 10,000 kilometers on the v11 heaps of fun so i'll do the same on this it's really fun. It's got enough speed, I think, for most people. I don't think you really need to be pushing speeds all the time. That's where you've got the links. So I'll try to do a bit of a rundown here, and I think major points are the links has the speed, the slightly larger tyre. It's got uh, a lot more range. So I think those three factors are the big things that would make me really start to consider the links. And why I'd be considering the V14 is the you know, smaller diameter for a bit more of that tricky stuff if you want that agility and, you know, that that sort of fun that you get with the smaller wheel. The weatherproofing, you know, the ease of their app and their customization, being able to adjust the suspension just slightly easier on the fly. So they've all got good things, don't they? And they've all got other things that you just might need to work around. It's, it's easy to adjust the link suspension as well. You just got to have your tools and dial it in. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Today, maybe that gave you a really quick overview. I'm going to gather more thoughts. I'm only into a couple of hundred kilometers on both of these wheels. And it is hard to try to identify the little bits of characteristics between them. 